Hey guys, this is Stephanie and I am Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Today I am doing a Christmas tag. I really almost went through the entire month of December without doing a single Christmas tag because I just kind of didn't think of it. <laughs> This is a tag that I saw on the channel of Tea Hags, which is hilarious. I mean, when you mix books and alcohol together, you get tea hags and they're pretty great. I believe it was a Game of Tomes original. So I will link both those channels down there so you can go check them out. They are both fan stinking tastic. They're duo channels, which I'm a little jealous. I love duo channels. I just love having two people's opinions, somebody to play off of, and then I wouldn't have to talk the whole time and that'd be kind of nice. But I saw the tag and I was like, that's the one. That's the tag I'm gonna do. So that's the tag I'm gonna do. The first question I have is, it's sideways. What book would you like to find under the tree this year? Okay, so I'm gonna do something completely outlandish that I know nobody is going to get for me and that is going to be the beautiful Jane Austen Collector's Editions. The ones with like the little keys on it and the little chairs on it and little dresses on Oh, that's the one I want. It's like $100, so nobody loves me enough to get that for me. <laughs> He's not gonna get it for me, okay? He already got me something, it's under the tree, I can see it and it is not book shaped, so. That is what I want, but nobody's gonna get it for me. I also want the really nice version of Princess Bride. I've never read it, <laughs> and I wanna have it, and it's like a blue cover. It's on my Amazon wish list. It's really, really pretty. Either of those would be good. Love them. Question two, still sideways. What is the best book you have ever received for Christmas? Now, this is a hard one. I actually was trying to remember, like back when I was a kid, and books I got for Christmas then, but I couldn't really think of any. I do remember one year, and this is probably like four or five years ago, my sister-in-law Elizabeth got me the Mistborn series, just the first the first trilogy, and they were in mass market pa paperback, and I do not like mass market paperback, so I was like, thanks. I was an ungrateful twit, basically. Uh, and then I actually read the book, and I was like, oh my goodness, the book is great, and now I have pretty versions of them. So, so those mass market paperbacks, they live in the back hallway with the other shameful books while well, these gonna be pretty and up front. But I did get those from her and those are probably the best book gift that I've gotten. So way to go, Elizabeth, you're the best. All right, question three. What book gives you all the Christmas feels? Okay, so I know everybody says Harry Potter, but I'm gonna say Harry Potter. I used to try and read the books over like November and December like lots of people do, but I just don't feel like I have time. And that is a ton of rereading. So now I just watch the movies. I'm about maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes into the fourth movie right now. When I get done filming this, I'm gonna go upstairs and finish watching that when my roommate gets home with my burger. That's happening, it is. Love the Harry Potter movies. They just make me feel like Christmas and maybe that's because, you know, they always have Christmas in the books. Like it always, there's always a Christmas scene and it's always so happy, good things happen. You're just like, yay, Harry. Kind of like how Friends always has a Thanksgiving episode. Harry always has a Christmas day. So there you go. Question four, what book do you plan on reading to put you in the Christmas spirit this year? Well, I don't know if it's necessarily going to put me in the Christmas spirit, but it is going to make me rather happy. And that is actually a small stack of graphic novels that I have upstairs. Uh, after people were watching my day whatever, graphic novel, and I basically was like, these are the seven I've read. I got a ton of recommendations for new ones. So I went to my library and I was like, do you have this? Yes. Do you have this? Yes. Do you have this? Yes. So I have like five of them sitting up there and I think they will leave me in a pretty good mood. One of them is called, my favorite thing is Monsters and it is done in ballpoint pen. Like it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I was just like, what? Like I had no idea the girl was raving about it and I was like, that's nice. I looked it up, they had it, I got it, I got home with it and I'm like, this is so pretty. And it's huge for a graphic novel, huge. So I guess just reading something I enjoy is going to put me in the Christmas spirit, I guess. Question five, oop, it's turning on me. Question five, what book have you read this year that you would like to throw out with the Christmas tree after the holidays? Now, I don't actually own the book, so I guess I don't technically have to throw it out. But if I did own it, throwing would happen, and that would have to be November 9 by Colleen Hoover. It was a piece of crap. 
I hated that book. It was terrible. It was bad, bad, bad writing. It was tropes all over the place. And then it was this abusive relationship, but it's okay because she loves him. I'm like, that's how abuse happens. You are training women to think that it is okay for a dude to hit you. It is never okay for a dude to hit you. Like, no. And in this book, she's like, but he does it out of love. And I'm like, no! So I will never read a book by her again. It was a waste of time. And if I could throw it, I would. Actually, we have a fireplace. I could take care of it there too, but I am weird about burning books because it's a little too Nazi, so. Mm. Question number six. What is a book from this year that you would like to place under a friend's tree? Um, a book I have read this year that I'd like to place under a friend's tree. I don't, I don't actually know if I bought any books for anybody this year. I bought books for my nieces. I don't think I bought any other books. What kind of booktuber am I? I don't buy people books. But that's because people in my life will not read the books. And so I'd rather buy them something that they would like or something they would use. Actually, ooh, I did remember one, but I can't talk about it because she hasn't gotten it yet. And then she's going to know. But I am going to actually go with Station Eleven, and this is by Emily St. John Mandel. I have talked a ton about this book because I like this book. It is a good book. It is well written. It is well thought out. It is not lazy in any way, shape, or form. It's a very, very enjoyable book. It's a little slow, so people who like that quick YA stuff may not enjoy this time because it does not pander to that person. But if you're willing to sit down and read a book that is fantastic, you'll probably enjoy Station Eleven. I would probably put this under lots of people's Christmas tree this year. Actually, they had a bunch of these at my library sale that would have been a dollar because they were floppy backs. Mine didn't come from there, but I should have bought up all those. They literally had like 12 and just like randomly given them to people. The problem is I don't think they would read this book despite the fact I have told how many people, how many times this is a great book. They should read this book. No, 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 no. Basically, this is a book that is about a traveling group of actors and musicians and they're traveling around from like encampment to encampment. The world has basically come to an end because of a virus and so there's really not electricity and things like that and it's a very different world than our world now and these people are kind of and then we're following these people around with their journey and the people they encounter. I know that doesn't sound interesting but it is and it's from about six different point of views and it kind of jumps from the the then when the virus is spreading to the now and it jumps back and forth and it's really clear about when it jumps back and forth really clear about who's speaking and I kind of just want to read it again because <laughs> I liked it so much the first time and I want to put it under everyone's tree you're welcome so if you see one of these under your tree you're gonna know exactly where I came from Question number seven, challenge create a stack of books which spines alternate green and red share the titles all right Okay, that might have been slightly cheating because there is a portion of my TBR shelf that is, you know, color coded. So here we go. Here's my red, green, 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 red, green. Ha ha ha. Okay, so on the top we have Codename Verity, then we have Tempest, we have the other Alcott sister. We have oh I can't read that one backwards. Hold on. I'll do them in chunks. We have Memories of an Imaginary Friend, The Secrets We Keep, Station Eleven, Re uh, Republica, Tales of Peculiar, Deer Killer, Eli's and Her Monsters, Dorothy Must Die, The Wicked Will Rise, Ruby Red, Emerald Green, Ruby Red, Emerald Green. That was fun. Share a little secret with you guys. It's probably not a very big secret. I love doing challenges where I get to grab books off my bookshelves. I think it's so much fun. And then I also love putting them back. I know people are like, oh my gosh, I hate it. My bookshelves are just ruined now. And I'm like... I love it. I kind of want to make a tree out of my books, but then I was like, but I like seeing them here. So then I thought maybe I'll just go to my library and do it there, make a tree of books there. I bet they would really appreciate that. I mean, that would be holiday giving at its best. Mm -hmm. Question number eight, the best way to spread Christmas cheers to sing loud for all to hear. 
you really don't want me to sing. Who do you tag? Oh, stars. Okay, I'm going to tag the story. I'm going to tag brews and reviews because I love tagging them and stuff. I am going to tag books and things. I'm going to tag happy elephant books. And I'm going to tag story reader. So I will link all those channels down below too. And they are tagged. Now if you're watching this video and you're like, hmm, this looks fun. Nobody tagged me. Boom, you're tagged. Please do the video. Then link it down here so that I can see that you did the video. And then I can share happy smile laughs with you. <laughs> That'll be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe. And when you do comment, I want you to tell me what book you want to put under your friend's tree. And you can just put that down below because I would love to know. I post videos on Tuesdays. I post videos on Fridays. So you will know where to find me on those days. I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas and a very blessed New Year. And hopefully, I will get to see you soon. Goodbye.